everybody, welcome to Living Tomorrow Today. So we have been RV owners since November of 2018. Um, really, I think December because I think that's when we actually picked up the RV and brought it, uh, brought it home. Hey guys, it's RV buying day. buying day. Actually, no, well, it's already been bought. It's pickup day. Oh, pickup. Hey uh, yeah, we're going to do our pre-delivery inspection, and then I will be driving the RV home. So, yay. Ah! Uh, we didn't really start using it or living in it like we are now up until just a couple of weeks ago. And in that time, we are constantly learning different things about the RV. So today I want to talk to you about a very uh, noob mistake when it comes to water pressure in your RV and the water pump. So I thought that the water pump had to be on for there to be water pressure running throughout the RV. So we currently have water hookups from our house into our RV, which is providing all of the pressure that we need. I did not realize that. And when we first moved into the RV, I still had the water pump running. I was wondering if that was necessary or not. Um, and I kind of just ignored it. I, I decided to just look it up and, and I found that no, I do not need the water pump running and really all I did was a test inside the RV as well I I just turned off the water pump and I ran the water and we still had pressure <laughs> so uh, if you are new to RVing like we are and you're curious if you need to have your water pump running while you are hooked up to city water the answer is no you do not need to have the water pump running now with that said there's probably something else that you should keep in mind when it comes to being hooked up. One, you need to have a, a water pressure regulator because you don't know how high the water pressure might be set um, at wherever you're staying. Um, here at our house, obviously it's not gonna change, uh, but as you are traveling, you wanna make sure that that water pressure regulator is on, that way you don't damage any of the pipes inside your RV. I've heard stories of some parks having like 100 PSI for their water, so that's like some crazy high amount. Uh, so make sure you have that pressure, that water pressure regulator on. The second thing you probably want is a water filter, so that you don't have any funky smells or flavors coming out of out of your water. So when it comes to the pressure regulators, there's a whole bunch that you can buy. Um, we actually got one with our RV, and it seems to be working just fine. There's some that actually show you the pressure, which I think is kind of cool, and we may get later, but we don't think we need it right now. And then I'll, and I'll show you where uh, you want to put that on. And then also the, 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 uh, the water filter, I've seen people use it in different ways. And I'll show you how we use it. And if we're doing it wrong, please let us know and um, I'll be sure to change that. <laughs> um, so let's go outside and let me show you how we have our water set up coming into the RV. Okay, so our water pressure regulator is nothing fancy. It's just set up right here at the spigot. Really, there's not much to it. Just hook it up. And then from there, uh, we have our water hose. This is our drinking water hose. Uh, nothing else. This isn't used for anything else. And then we just hook it up to there and we run it out to the RV. So one thing I always wondered was when we first got started, I didn't know if this had to go at the uh, RV or if it goes here at the water spigot. And I found it goes here at the water spigot where the pressure is first coming out. So if you're wondering that as well, this is where you should plug in your water pressure regulator. So now we'll go out to the RV. And then here is our water filter that we have plugged in as well. You we really can't mess these up, I don't think. There's instructions right there that show you that the water flow has to go in a certain direction. So obviously just hook up, just hook it up so that the water flow goes out that way. One thing that I have seen different is that I've noticed that some people hook up the uh, the filter right after the spigot, after the pressure regulator, and then the hose goes directly in here. And then I've also seen it done this way. I'll tell you my thinking behind why I do it this way. And again, if I'm wrong, because I'm a newbie, please let me know in the comments and I will be sure to fix it. Um, but the reason I do it this way is because I want the last point of entry of water into the RV to be 
the cleanest. That's why I put the water filter here. You can see that the water hose is running just along right there, right? And if I just leave it, if I put the water filter over there, my thinking is that any bacteria that ever develops inside the water hose after the filter is just gonna go right into the RV. So if there is any funk that grows inside the water hose, I'm hoping that the filter will clean it out, get rid of any smells and bad taste before it goes into the RV and it will uh, it'll taste good. So that's my thinking behind why it goes here. Um, if, if you have other reasons for why it should be over there, please let me know. Okay guys, if we were able to help you out in any way, figuring out this whole water thing into the RV and should the pump be on? No, it doesn't have to be on if you have city water hooked up and how to set up your pressure regulator and the water filter. Please give us a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, and, and again, any comments or questions, please leave them in the description and uh, we will get back to you. All right, I'll talk to you later and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.